real first bottle was produced in 1888 by Ferruccio Biondi Santi. But the real uh, change and perception of, uh, of the company, of the estate, uh, was uh, thanks to Tancredi. Tancredi came on board uh, in the 20s and the last vintage was uh, 1970. And Tancredi was the person in charge to write all these rules to define the quality of Brunello. And these rules are still followed today by all the producers here in Montalcino. Tancredi one day was uh, in Florence and he saw a bottle of Biondi Santi on the shelf in a restaurant and he saw that the liquid was lower than where it should have been. So he decided to uh, establish this procedure, refilling basically the liquid uh, lost with uh, uh, the same vintage of the bottle which has lost uh, the, the wine. So this is uh, something uh, that we are still doing here at Grippo and uh, this allows the wine to have a higher longevity. Dr. Franco came on board on uh, 1971, was the first vintage, and uh, we like to call him the defender of Brunello. He organized a very important event here at the estate with the most important journalists, and the event was a vertical tasting of 100 years, 100 years, from 1888 to 1988. And you see here the real table that was used for the vertical testing. And that was so powerful and important to show how the Brunello could really develop. In 2017, the family decided to sell the property to Christopher Descour. Majority of the people working today at Greppo have been working with Dr. Franco for many years. So there is a strong know-how here that we really value a lot. The hill of Montalcino is quite unique, protected by the Apennine on one side and there is the sea on the other side. And the, the hill itself is very heterogeneous in terms of uh, soils. The oldest vines that we have at Greppo are from the 1930s, uh, less than one hectare. But that's it's very, very important for us because we consider that place our future because we have inherited a lot of clones in that uh, small portion of vineyard that, that we are studying for the future. The old vines that we have here go into the Reserva, only produce in very good vintages. Since the 1888, from the first vintage of uh, the production of Brunello, the Reserva has been produced only 40 times. So that means that uh, on average it's produced uh, one every three years. Released one year after the regular Brunello, so it's a longer aging which is not really in wood, but most of the time it's going to be in the bottle. If I have to look back at all our reservas, there are few vintages which are definitely stands out from the others. I would say the first one is definitely 1891, because I mean, it was awarded 100 points after 100 years, so it's an exceptional vintage. Then we got the very famous 55, 64, I would say 85, also is a, is a very good vintage. And then we go to 97, 2010, 83 is a very special vintage here. In that specific year, Dr. Franco changed the big cask in Slavonian oak that were uh, used for the fermentation of the Reserva. So he brought in two new big casks, which we are still using here at Grippo because they are exceptional quality. And we believe that that new cask provided some special profile to the 83 which today, if you put your nose in the glass of 83, you feel some balsamic, some uh, leather, something very, very nice, which probably uh, comes from, from that decision of Dr. Franco in that year. This is such an important estate that brings history to the Italian winemaking. So we feel a lot of responsibility to bring this estate into the future. Everything will be done with our mission, which is evolution and not revolution.